So I am Emmanuel Huin, French dancer and choreographer. And uh, I come, I'm, I'm directing at the moment the Centre National de Danse Contemporaine in Angers, which is a center and at the same time a school, an experimental school. I brought in uh, Panorama Crible, Crible Life, which is a piece about the fact of being together. And uh, Mua, which is a solo that I made, the first, my first piece in 1905. 1995, which is um, a piece which looks uh, from zero to something. What is an event? What does? How is an event appearing? So it's two. One piece at the beginning of my of my work, and Kribles was made in 2009. So it's far in um, in time. It's very far in time, but in a way I'll, I can feel what was already in Mua for Crib coming. So actually, to be honest, it's really uh, the fact that I was interested and I loved discovering Persephassa of Yanis Xenakis, the Greek composer. I was, I was looking for music that could be as strong as the Rite of Spring of Stravinsky. And then I listened a lot to the 20th century. And I, I listened then to Xenakis and Persephassa. And then I was very interested by this music. And when I start, start to study about this music, I discovered that, it, that the musicians had to be around the public. And it was a very good thing because I was I wanted to work on Chodash, on the fact of handling hands, and then this music should be uh, presented or should be played in a circle. So Xenakis was putting the audience in the middle and the musicians around. You know, he was an engineer working with Le Corbusier, so they were aware of the space. And then I thought, well, I should just add dance in the middle also. So the dance and the public would be together and the event would remain the music around. Actually, that's it. But then I had already this idea myself of working with hands attached. For me, it's really, there is a continuity of um, how the links, how the, the, the links uh, work together, how the things come from each other, how solidarity and, uh, and contact and, um, and information translated through bodies makes us strong or, or weak. That's Crible is really very much about how being attached makes us stronger or stops us from or stops us. And then they really progressed and improved very fast. It's a big pleasure because they're really young and they really want and they love the piece, the Xenakis piece, and it's also a great opportunity to be together. So I loved it. And I really thank the Brazilian programmers to have, in a way, forced me to change partners. Because naturally I would have said, no, I prefer to be with a French musician because I'm sure of the result. I was afraid of not to, of, of the fact of not being sure of the result and arriving here and not being sure. I was like, oh, pity, pity. But they're very good and and very sympathetic. So it's just pleasure. And actually, I would like to tour a bit more here with them. So we'll try. Yes, we're in tour next week in France with this piece. And otherwise, I'm, I'm touring with the Japanese old Buto master who make a duet. It's called Spiel, that means game in German. So we perform quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And there is another piece, a group piece, called uh, Augur, that, Auguresh, that means something that starts. And it's again a group piece related to the fact of we content in ourselves plenty of uh, kids of ourselves. For example, you've been, I don't know, you're 25 and 
And all the, the times that you were one or a very small baby and two and, and 20, and everyone is, uh, is inside you. And sometimes the baby is pushing to, to be out and sometimes you say, no, it's really the adult that should appear. So it's about the fact that we contain many, many times and many ages inside us, but we, we push them, we deny them to be social and to be normal. But it's a piece about, in a way, childhood and adults, the relationship that we have with uh, our own child, I mean, ourselves.